Hello everyone, my name is Lee Hoon Nguyen from Tang Nguyen University, Vietnam. So today I would like to talk about the land use, land curve changes using multi-temporal state light images. This topic is a part of our OWL project founded by UCF. So he, this is the one of the several topics that I would like to share with you today. So this presentation are divided into three sections, which are regional, the reason why we conduct this research in this area. The second is the presentation of research, including study area, material, methodology, and result. And the final part will be the conclusions. So let's start. So in the regional part or general province, as you may know, the land use and land cover changes including deforestation or main factors contributing on global environmental change. As the other developing countries, Vietnam has experienced with deforestation and that Nam province is one of the provinces located, located in the central highland of Vietnam. It has experienced loss of a large area of natural forest for many purposes such as expanding urbanization and agricultural cultivation due to the increasing population, not only plant but also spontaneous immigration. Additionally, the, per the policy of economic development in recent years also affected on the forest area, such as the converting many natural forests for rubber to rubber plantation. Moreover, due to the good site condition for cultivating industrial crop like coffee, pepper, and so on, many areas of natural forest were cut for because of this purpose, especially when the prices of these products are going up. So, although natural forests in Vietnam, including Dak Nom, are among the most diverse tropical, Forests in the world, they are being lost at an alarming rate. So you can see, um, this is the map of LUFC in thirty years ago, which are in, which were in nineteen eighty nine and nineteen ninety. So the green color presented for natural forest in this period, and is has accounted of more than. 80% of natural land in this area, but but in the year of 2017 and 2018, a lot of green color part area disappeared. So it has not considered to analyze it in a systematically way. The analysis of these changes as a basis for LUSH strategies in the future has not been done in the, the area. So understanding a trend of this change in the past and current is so important for making proper decisions in the future to develop in a sustainable way. So this is the, the reason why we doing this research in this area. So um, in this map, the area which is covered by the pink light is the central highlands. And in this research, we want to focus on the Dakno province, which is located in Central Highlands. And Yangye is the provincial capital of this province. And Dakno province is the area of about 6,500 kilometers square. And it has a population of more than 600,000 people, of which 65% Kin and the remaining ethnic minorities are um, 40, the other um, 40 groups. But actually, in th um, 30 years ago, there were just only two to three groups of ethnic minority. But because the 36 to 37 groups were from the north side of Vietnam, they moved to the central highlands to do for a living. So in this, this research, we used the Landsat 5 and Landsat 8 from the year of 2005 to 2018. So this area has 
the cloudy weather that's why we have we have to take a lot of pictures from 84 to 84 to 143 photos for this research and the javascript api code editor in the GE was employed as a tool for collecting images to quantify the changes of LUSC types. Image preprocessing was done to lower the spatial distribution impacts of topographical and bidirectional reflectance. And cloud masking was processed to the GE. Then the post preprocessing images were resembled to a certain spatial scale and subset it according to the study area. So for this research we have collected random samples from four sources, which are different points from the field, images from the Google Earth first inventory maps and lens of satellite images to chain and validate you those samples. Based on the quality of the image and our purpose, there were five different classes which were used to distinguish in this area, which are evergreen broad leafed forest, semi evergreen forest, deep toe rock hub, deciduous forest, plantation forest, rubber, agriculture, residential area, water surface, and other lands including all the types of grassland, shrubs, bare land, unplanned land, abandoned land, and so on. Now we would like to move to the result and the discussion parts. So um, the accuracy assessments were presented in this table, the overall accuracy ranged from 72% to 84%, with TAPA from 0.79 to 0.8. And the following slide show you the visual LUFCC, particularly in forest change, that means the green color change from 2005 to 2018. So in the 2006, you can see the green has compiled quite a bit in this map. And the green parts have been decreased through the year from 2008, 2014, and 2017. So you can see the significant change in the green part. It has been it had been decreased dramatically in 2017 compared to 2006. And instead, there were the growth of res residential area, plantation forests, and other activities, which um, lead to the devastation. From the result, we can see the natural forest scattered as fragments and significantly reduced during the periods from 2005 to 2018. On the opposite, the cropland has been continuously increased over the year from 31% to 45%, 52%, and 53% from 2005, 2010, 2015, 2018, respectively. Among the natural forest classes, evergreen showed the largest decrease over the year from 42% to 27%. In this slide, you see the graph of the LURC change in um, so between 2005 and 2018. The natural forest decreased by almost 120,000 hectares. On the contrary, Copland show a significant increase of 140,000 hectares, followed by the rubber with about 20% hectare, compared to all the types of LUSC. Um, in addition, so from the LUFCC, 
changed in the previous part that we talked about uh, we want to highlight the forest cover too the so from 2005 to 2018 the region experienced a significant decrease in forest cover why non-forest cover showed an upward trend of area and the percentage of forest cover in 2005 were 53 15 percent compared to 34 percent of the year 2018 an annual forest change rate was calculated to compare between periods um, so after 13 years the forest reduced about 20 percent on the average Every year, the forest lost was nearly 3%. Among the natural forest types, the deep, the deep to grow crop occupy 55%, followed by the evergreen forest and semi evergreen forest. So, next is the table of the forest cover chains in four periods. Um, so, as you can see, the natural forest has been decreased significantly in mostly in the period of 2005 to 2010, which were 20.38% in this period and for around 4% every year. And next, the next natural forest percentage decrease is the period from 2010 to 2015 and the least decrease periods would be 2015 and 2018 so now I would like to move to this discussion parts so um, the population growth both Plant and spontaneous immigration. The second, the sub subtropical monsoon climate with favorable conditions for planting crops. Thirdly, there are many unclear decisions approved during the process of land use rice certificate. And last, development of economy, society, urbanization, including hydroelectricity infrastructure, and so on. So that we can conclude uh, after the research that we have done our nine different LULC classes were discriminated throughout the study area using Landsat 5A satellite imagery data in four years which are 2005, 2010, 2015 and 2018 with accuracy ranged from 70 to 84 percent. Over the years, there was a trend of a significant reduction in the natural forest while the remaining classes showed an increase. The continued decline in the forest area over the years has caused pressure on the natural environment and contributed to the risk of local as well as global climate change. So those are the conclusions that we can conclude from the research that we have done in this area. And the last but not least, I wanted to thank the peer program, which um, is sponsored by USAT, and this research project hosted by the Institute of Space Technology, VAST, Vietnam. And I want to thank the local authorities, Tengwin University, collaborative research partner, which contributed to the research that um, I have met. Thank you for listening to my presentation.